you guys, I literally was nine minutes into recording my video. And you got you other creators, you guys know, like you got all your time, energy, you're showing all your personality. And it's for nothing because guess what? Nobody can hear you talking. Oh my gosh, I'm re-recording this for the third time, okay? Hey, this is India with Back to Lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching this video. Okay, so third time is a charm as you have already heard because I was recording the whole thing without a microphone. I was almost at the end anyway. So let's go ahead and get into it. So today's video, we will be talking about how, like how you can find pieces that you really, really like at more, at a price that's going to fit your budget as well as finding those style elements that are going to fit what you really love about your style and how to make it your own. So I'm gonna give you a couple of examples, real life examples of pieces that I have in my closet. So I have three examples to show you of two pieces I've recently gotten in and those were based off of an item that I really wanted from, what do you call it, that I really wanted. And they were more expensive, so I had to find a more affordable option. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So first off, you see this dress by Carolina Herrera. So I know you can see the price point. The original price point was just under $1,000. And on sale, it's, it's at the cusp of $500. And so whether, either way it goes, like even if you a piece is not that expensive or more expensive than this, whether you can't or you won't, Spend that amount of money that they're asking for on the price tag. There are ways you can find things that work for you that still fit within the box that you want to keep yourself in. And when I say box, I mean like the, the financial box. <laughs> Style, get out the box. Finances, stay in the box. <laughs> so anyway, so as you can see from this dress, I could find any, I could find a bunch of reasons why this dress is versatile. This dress would take me the long range. I could wear it most of the year where I live. So I could get more bang for my buck. And I'm a big person where you want to get versatile pieces. Things that are going to take you the long run is more where I like to play and get good quality pieces that are going to take you some years as well as multiple different situations. And while all of those things are true, that price point was just not what I, my wallet was like, girl, would it? No move on. <laughs> so walking around Bloomingdale's actually, I actually, actually I saw this dress online first, but I did find it in Bloomingdale's, which I was happy about. But searching online, I did find this dress. And so pretty much the dress that you're seeing on the screen is made by Gracia. I love that it has pockets, y'all. Dresses with pockets are just, that, that should be a requirement should be a, like completely a requirement is what I mean. <laughs> like somebody needs to hear me say that. This should be a requirement. All dresses should have pockets. Okay, so with this dress, I loved it because one, it had pockets. It's the t-shirt. It's a t-shirt style dress, which is really great. I also love that this is a pattern dress too, because I do need to incorporate more patterns in my wardrobe. And it's something that I have been really trying hard to do. I also really like that this dress has the sleeves that cut off right at the elbow. I feel like that makes it more versatile than it being a long sleeve dress because easily it's at that length where you can wear it in warmer months as well as cooler months by throwing a jacket on top of it or a sweater or whatever that makes it a year round dress for me. And I thought that this is perfect because I'm gonna get a lot more bang for my buck. This dress was made by Gracia and it was $118. So I really love that this one fit the bill in that way. And it's something that is a great piece that I can wear for years to come. So this is the first piece that I found. And this is much more, <laughs> this is much more on at the affordable end of the price point than the Carolina Herrera dress. Okay, so one day I also was walking around the mall <laughs> and I, my eye just caught it out, out the corner, like the periphery of my eye. Like I just caught it on the side and I looked and I thought, oh, I just immediately made a beeline and went into Brooks Brothers. Now, if you all are familiar with Brooks Brothers, 
Brooks Brothers is more on the pricey side of the spectrum. They are not as expensive, obviously, as a, a one dress that's almost a thousand dollars by a luxury brand like Carolyn Herrera. But Brooks Brothers does, is known for their great quality, higher price point pieces, of course. So this dress that I found in Brooks Brothers was more closely aligned to the Carolina Herrera dress for several reasons. The Carolina Herrera dress had the still a t-shirt detail, a shirt, shirt dress details, what I should say, like both dresses are still shirt dresses. But this dress also, the buttons stopped around the waist, similar to the Carolina Herrera dress, and it also has the fabric sash. Now with the Carolina Herrera dress, the fabric sash has the C, H detailing metal buckling. This one is not that way. And also the Caroline Herrera dress has is made of silk crepe. This one's made of satin. So a lesser expensive luxurious fabric, um, but still an expensive dress as well. Like the Brooks Brothers is not, you know, H&M or Zara prices. <laughs> like you can see on the screen where me calling out those details as well as the obvious color of this dress is olive green that was olive green too it it more closely aligns more similar like for like than the gracia dress so i did also get this dress thankfully it was 30 percent off so with the combination of the gracia dress as well as the sale price that i got for the brooks brothers dress it came both of those dresses came in a hundred dollars less than the sale price for the carolina herrera dress so definitely you want to just make sure that you're looking at the elements of the piece that you really like and finding a way to fit that in. And I won't say that, and also what I wanted to throw in here too is that if you, I, several of you guys have come from Simply Cora and I cannot thank you enough for you being willing to watch a smaller channel. My channel size compared to Cora's is... <laughs> So is a stark difference and Kura does an amazing job with her video content and she gives you valuable educational lessons. I thank you guys so much for coming over. For those folks who have not seen Simply Kura, make sure you check out her channel, especially if you're wanting to elevate your personal style. Do it in a way that's going to work for you where you can take, take things or what I want to say. You want to just basically be able to repeat and build on your wardrobe and your fashion sense at a price point as well as the style elements that are going to work for you. She does a great job teaching that content. And by watching her videos, it's helped me in the, even in this video here that I'm doing where I'm pulling elements of, um, into some of the lessons that she's taught us. So I will link Cora's channel down in my description box. Please make sure you, if you have not seen any of her videos, you check out her channel, like, share, and subscribe her channel too. She does an excellent job and is a great teacher and does it very differently from a lot of people. So make sure you check out her video. Okay, so the last piece that I'm going to show is a Zara piece. So this Zara, you already know, is a more at a more affordable price point. But I wanted to throw this one in here just to show the fact that just because something is at a more affordable price point, does not mean that you necessarily have to spend the money on the piece if there are things that you are able to pull away from it to still recreate the same look. So, hold on. Okay, so like I said, I was scrolling online. Now, in my defense, I don't know how these websites get on, like Bloomingdale's, Zara, Caroline Herrera, and all the other Nordstrom all of them like i don't know how they get on my my phone or on my computer let me just say that let me know if this happens to you guys where these shopping sites just pop up because i don't know where they come from they're just there and then I, I look because they're there that's just me <laughs> okay so with this top that you're seeing from zara like i said it is an affordable price point it's 50 dollars, and because it was affordable i immediately started throwing it in the cart and getting ready to check out. And I thought, wait a minute. Why, why are you buying this white top? You have a white top that you absolutely love. 
The only thing you really wanted from this piece is the black ribbon. That is it. I'm spending, so ultimately I'm spending $50 for a ribbon. Where does that make sense? <laughs> and so just because you can buy something doesn't mean you always have to. And so that's something that I, I not always, that is something that I want to start practicing and also want to start preaching, <laughs> I guess is what we should say. And just helping all, all of us, helping each other in this phase that we're in where we can pull things from our closet without having to buy something new. Sometimes things, you know, you got, you got to buy something new, but that doesn't mean you always have to. So I wanted to show this as an example. So when I realized that it was ultimately the ribbon that drew me in, I thought, okay, so you have a white button top. Okay. So this is not exactly the same, but similar concept, right? This is a white button top. I love this top. I've had it for years and it is by black house white market and not all white top button down tops are made equal you have to find the right one that works for you and i absolutely love the way this one fits and the feel of it so i don't need to recreate that one because this is not going to be the same that zara one is not going to be the same as this one i already know <laughs> but anyway so be with this dress here dress this <laughs> with this shirt here it already has the ties on it that are basically the same material as a top. And I thought, wait a minute, you have a ribbon. So why can't you just take this ribbon you have? Now, I don't think I would take this exact ribbon, but I wanted to show it to get show an example of how you can just make sure that the things that you are really wanting to accomplish with that look that you're doing, or that what you're seeing, you can also, you can maybe, I'm just talking all over the place. Let's try this again. You can try to accomplish them with the things that you have in your wardrobe or at least minimize the things so you're not having to buy a whole outfit, maybe just buy pieces to make a similar outfit. That is what I'm trying to say, sorry. Um, so as you can see here, like I said, I wouldn't use this exact same ribbon necessarily. I don't know, I could maybe, but anyway. So you see how I have a similar look. I have the ties here, so all it has to do is loop around the neck and then I can tie it in a bow or leave it hanging like I have here. And I have a similar look, similar to the look that attracted me to the top on Zara's website. So I thought, there is no reason for me to spend this $50. I can do the same thing with the top I already have. So I am hoping that these examples help you apply this information and learn from it as well as build on your wardrobe as well and build you know the looks that you want to create thank you so much for watching do not forget to like this video as well as subscribe it will be greatly appreciated thank you bye